I'm back in Denmark after some nice trips to Norway and uh, this is Denmark in the winter. Actually the same forest where I recorded the video with a fox and a fallow deer. That was a little over there. I uh, got the picture of the fox running over the, the road. I brought the, the camera and I brought my tripod and some wide angle stuff and I brought my little uh, drone uh, hopefully to make just just some nice shots. My plan is just to be here and relax and of course I have my coffee and just see what shows up. Hopefully like I hope I get some nice pattern with all this white and like, it's almost black and white with a few colors like from from the trees and yeah it's going to be it's going to be quite great i think Just like these patterns, see. Just on the little road here, and uh, the thing I really like about being out photographing when the weather is like this, it's like cloudy and this like this ice fog in the air, and I think in the spring. Where, or in the summer we have so many colors and as a photographer like I get a little confused about all these colors so much to photograph and it's like where to put my focus where to put my concentration but then suddenly everything changes to like black and white and suddenly I feel like in the in the snow in the in this whiteness it's like my eyes get more sensitive to shapes and patterns and it's just what I'm about to do today. After photographing in here, I, uh, I decided to fly a little in the forest with, uh, with a little Mavic Pro. And uh, to be honest, I haven't practiced so much. So after doing this B-roll, I thought, ah, maybe I should try the follow me mode for the first time. And um, yeah, of course, why not do it in the middle of all the trees? So uh, <laughs> that's just not something to be proud of. But um, I thought it could be great to try it down this little road with the trees on both sides. So I uh, got it up and started the following me mode or active track. I can't even remember what it's named. And the result is this, some very very broken propellers. Um, so now I just have some useless pieces of plastic that I can put in my photo bag as a good memory and a warning for me next time I should probably read the manual. I had the remote control and my binocular and my camera and suddenly the the camera strap and the strap from the binocular got like stuck in the remote control and I just heard a, not, uh, like a strange noise behind me and that was the sound of a phantom that uh, no Mavic that just like went mental into some trees. I think he just tried to correct for the course so it just sounded like 10,000 uh, bees that just got crazy so and I couldn't do it I didn't know what to do in such a situation so I basically just waited and then at the end I think he fell down on the ground and he gave up and he was just like like a smashed buck down there but I think he's still fine now he's here and he'll have a good treat when we come home but his wings are definitely broken it's getting too dark I think it's time to go now I definitely definitely need a cup of coffee after this little fight with a maybe pro so yeah the temperature has been like around zero all day but now it's definitely frost it's really good
If you look down there, these trees has such like a nice pattern with um, with the snow resting on the branches. And with the Taylor photo limbs, I hope to get like yeah, it is nice. Oh, you hear the birds? Come here. I wonder what they're doing. Oh. Where are they? Oh, that's weird. I can hear them, but I can't see them. I think they're flying in the fog further up. After being here a little while, when I settle down, I start to like focus on something, and that's really, really nice. Sometimes when I'm in this like mindset where I just can't decide, I give myself like an exercise and I say, okay, now you have this area two meter on each side and you can only be there with one lens that could be my macro lens. And then I have to stay there for 30 minutes. And that's really interesting because in the beginning it's like, oh, I should have chosen another place. I should have taken a better place. I should have taken another lens. Oh, I could go over there instead. But then after a while, start to focus and then I see something a little straw with some snow or ice crystals on it and then I start to photograph that and I think okay I can I can just spend some time with this one but suddenly I just get sucked into that universe of beauty and then I start to experiment and be more creative and actually my brain is focusing on the subject and I think for me that's a wonderful exercise because it forced me to concentrate on one thing like one little thing in the forest instead of the entire forest. So like, I'm not going to do that today because I just want to go around and enjoy and photograph things that doesn't really make sense just to be outside and make something beautiful. But I, I like that technique. It's, uh, it's really helpful sometimes. For me, not all photo trips has to end up with like really, really nice photos and it doesn't have to be like action packed with like lots of animals and stuff every time. There's something special about a day like this where it's just like quiet and beautiful and frost and yeah, just landscapes. Here we go. Ay, ay, ay. It's uh, getting late now and the light is getting weaker very fast. It has started to snow a lot and it just looks amazing. Try to have a look in here. It has just been a great day out here with a lot of good pictures of uh, the trees and the shapes and like all this snow. It's rare in Denmark that we have such a day. So uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to get home and uh, to see what I've actually got. Mm -hmm.